Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Lava, good to see everybody. And welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Okay, my wonderful collectives, let's do another reading for you. Messages for you. Sacred Union. Partnership and Romance. <clears throat> Looks like a, a love reading. It's going to be a love reading. All right, let's take a look. What is the sacred union and romance that is coming towards you? We have five of cups. We have Queen of Wands. Okay. And we have High Priestess. High Priestess, we have Seven of Swords. So in the past, I you need to understand that uh, this is something that is behind you. Your past, briefly. In your past, you had to, you, you stand for a long time uh, in some sort of unstable relationship where you did not know what should be done. Five of Cups, it's a card in tarot that represents grief or i'm not sure what to do about my current situation uh, so maybe for a very long time you remain in a position of not knowing what to do definitely was a betrayal there was another woman involvement in your relationship in your past seven of swords lying betraying cheating manipulation uh could could represent anything okay relationship ended this relationship ended because of the influence, because of interference of some other female. Now, who is the Queen of Wands? Queen of Wands could be an individual that is that is uh, very ambitious. Um, the other woman, the third party, interfered in your relationship. And, of course, uh, you had this bad experience. They're showing me some sort of privileged privilege female. Maybe this individual was privileged in the community. She could have, like I said, played dirty against you. Poverty. And we have Valsi Man. And Judicator. So this female, there is a couple. They're showing me some sort of couple. Uh, could be could be an individual you used to be in the past with. And of course, that person have chosen some other female. They're, they're showing me a couple here couple that will be brought to justice there is definitely judicature come up so these individuals will be will be answering and will be responsible for what they have done against you so this is the past uh, definitely uh, not a greatest experience that you have to endure what lessons have you learned from this past difficult relationship you learn how to stand your grounds Seven of Wands is a card that represents, I am going to stand my grounds. I'm not going to let anybody anymore in my life. Everyone who will enter your life, you will going to filter. Okay. We have King of Pentacles over here. We have a Magician. We have a Strengths card. We have a Three of Cups. And we have a Tower Moment. Some sort of narcissistic individual manipulator. You are a victim of some sort of manipulation and a lot of third party, which is, uh, we're doomed to be destroyed. Okay, so do not feel upset about it. I do not necessarily feel like you care anymore about your past relationship. This is something that happened. Betrayal, cheating, um, because of the involvement of a third party. Most likely feminine. In regards of your past uh, partner, highly narcissistic, very selfish, very manipulator, Always was a cheater, always will be the cheater. Okay. So this is ended. Briefly about your past. Now let's take a look at your current. Where are you at currently? <clears throat> Eight of Wands Tower. Nine of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Empress, 
and we have magician and also star. So currently, like I said, you're recovering. You're recovering from this tower moment. There's a lot of answers that you have obtained. You learn a lot. This was a very good uh, uh, life experience for you. Uh, and you, through, through these destructions, you learn how to value yourself. You learn how to stand your grounds. You regain your power back. Star, Empress, and a Magician. This is where you're currently at. Strong in your power. Like I said, all these worries that you had, they disappeared. So your current positions, you're feeling good about yourself. Uh, you're feeling happy with who you are. Like I said, this three of swords, this broken broken heart that taken place in the in the past. Was it really a true love? That's another question. Was it a true love? No. It wasn't true love because you were always alone. You're still in the process of searching for your true love. That's the thing. Whatever that person they, that I've seen, that narcissistic manipulator, um, wasn't your true love. You might have thought that that individual from your past was your true love. But you come up as a hermit, you know. You, you were always alone. If anything, you were the only one that making this relationship going. That person did not invest anything into you, did not give you anything. You wanted that love, so you created that love, the idea of love, but it wasn't a true love because you're still searching for your true love. You understand? So it wasn't that the other woman interfered in your past relationship that broke your heart because it didn't. It made you realize what true love is and whom you do not want. You understand? You finally see the truth of who you truly are. You learn that you are in control of your life, that you are in charge of your life. Whatever that was in the past that maybe at the first glance looked like a true love, in fact, wasn't. You still were alone. It might have not even be a relationship or formal relationship. So what kind of true love are we talking about if there was no commitment? You are the only one that invested into this relationship. You're the only one that believed in this relationship. This other narcissistic masculine we've seen and this other female interfering, the other secret party, whoever that person was, I mean, not true love. <clears throat> Let's take a look more into this. Did you thought that that relationship from your past was your true soulmate and true love? Because I do not feel like you've met that person yet. Is it? We have six of cups. This is once again Six of Cups. You thought, okay, you wanted it to be true love. You thought of that person as a kind person. You were kind to this person. But we have Hermit again. You were alone. You were alone. See, loneliness. You were simply alone. Loneliness, withdrawal. That individual just discards you. Discards your kindness because what hurted you the most is the fact that you helped at this person. And I do not see that that was your true love. I do see that you're still in search of that. You're still looking, right? You're still looking for that. And by the way, with a hermit being reversed this time, you are actually going to meet finally the person that you are seeking for. That will make you happy. We also have three of cups. So it wasn't your true love. Nothing but a drainage. So after bad experience, what happened in your life? You started to work. You started to work on yourself. You started to learn how to be patient, how to master a certain skill. Um, how you could have found a new job, 
you could have started some new employment. You worked really, really hard. What brought you joy after the shenanigans and destruction that was brought to you by a cheater, narcissistic loser, right? Who manipulating and trickery and cunning and deception, who bullshitted to you because you needed to get away from that pain. And you reacted it really quickly. You figured out that, hey, if I invest myself into learning a new skill, new trade, start a business, that brought you joy. That's the only thing that made you happy, right? Because you did not want it to make mistakes. You learned what true manipulation, trickery, lying, cunning is. You already have the experience. <clears throat> what did that masculine that we've seen, the nar narcissistic, materialistic one, the player, what did he thought of you when you were with him? Well, what did he say? That there was no perspective. This individual, this individual took taken advantage of you only until that point. Only until that point where you given them resources. So if you were resourceful, if you had something to give right? Perspective. That person was taking it through lies, feeding you bullshit. I love you. You're the love of my life. Yada, yada, bullshit shenanigans. The moment this resource is ended and you were going through a rough patch in your life, what that person did? Run away. Like a rat. So that person intentionally used you for their own manipulative, uh, manipulative purposes. There is a devil card here comes up, which is also represents lack of perspective, recklessness, imbalance. That individual was self self indulgent in certain things. Could have been sex addict, drug addict, in debt, immoral. So you don't have to feel sad. You should be happy. You should be happy that that individual was taken by somebody else. And now he is somebody else's problem. He's not your problems because you could have not been happy with this person. Even if you were to postpone or extend a period of time to be with that person for a longer period of time that you initially were in a relationship with, it would have ended because this relationship were doomed from the beginning. That person knew you're a kind person. You also, by the Queen of Cups, could be very attractive, kind, intuitive, helpful. It's a narcissist. Narcissist, they simply, while he can or she, taking advantage of you, the moment that story ended, that person discard you and replace you in a matter of weeks or even days with somebody else. So, this individual from a beginning had no perspectives with you, which you did not know, okay? What did this ex karmic chosen here? We've seen some queen of wands. What did he chosen? He chosen another woman, comes up as a queen of swords, overly critical. She's a very pessimistic. She doesn't have any empathy. She is rude. She is malice. She is a gossiper. That's what he deserves. But when he met her, okay, when he met her, she should come up as a queen of wands, which means she was very businesslike, very passionate. And, you know, he, he potentially did not knew her true colors when he was replacing you, right? Because narcissists often get uh, entrapped by a lot more hardcore narcissists than they are themselves, ironically. And this is ironically the case. So the female that he chosen over you, uh, he thought of her as she's honest, that she's truthful, 
that she's candid, protective, that she's independent, okay? That she's funny and very witty, that she's strong. But now he sees her as critical, pessimistic, jealous, gossiper, malice, rude. She has no empathy. She doesn't care. He was nothing but a resource for her. So he got played. And he understands that now. What else about this person he have chosen? You see how everything gets compared in time. Whom else did he chosen? Well, hey, it looked promises some good new beginnings, right? Fresh start. That's what he thought of himself. I will have the greatest life with a woman who is responsible, uh, the woman who is fearless and funny and smart, not knowing where he's going. But like I said, it's his problem. Who, who gives it? You know what? So anyways, this is a little intro. This is a little intro. Now you're understanding that there was not true love that you experienced because if would have if if it would have been a true love you would have been with this amazing person but he just wasn't for you he deserves a woman that is piece of shit like him fair fair now let's take a look at your true love <clears throat> So you're feeling great about yourself. You have financial stability. I've seen you have been working on yourself. You're no longer the same person as you used to be. Now you are ready to meet your true love. Back then, you weren't. I feel that back then you were too kind. You've forgotten your self-value. Now you know who you are. You remembered who you are. Do you think, looking back, that you would have ever give a second look into this shit ass? No. You would say, who the fuck are you? Get out of my fucking way, Jose. No, you're not worthy of me. Step out. Okay, so your personality changed. Your personality changed because you learned who you truly are. So take that experience is the most incredible experience that given you growth, financial and personal and spiritual. And because of this terrible situation you've been through, you become who you are today. Who is this new lover? Who is this sacred lover? <clears throat> Who is this sacred lover? Thief. It's an individual who busts thieves. He's a mature man. This person connected to law enforcement. He wears a uniform. He could wear a uniform. He could be um, working in a police department. Okay, maybe you met him at work. When he was on duty. Let's say you yourself work in a legal department. You're running to courts back and forth. And there you've met a cop. Could be an example. But this individual busts thieves. He busts crooks. He busts criminals. He's a mature man. He's an experienced man. I'm not saying he's an old man. No. Handsome, attractive. Um, I don't think he has a beard. No beard. Not a gray hair. Maybe a little bit. And that's how you're going to meet him. This individual connected to, like I said, judicial system. And what he does for, for a job very well, actually, 
He's very intelligent. He has a lot of knowledge in him. And his role is to catch crooks. So most likely to me like a cop. What else about his personality and his career? Yeah, he works in a special building that has a lock, meaning not everybody can pass through this building. You need to have a clearance. So you're going to meet some Tom top notch. <clears throat> He's helping people, participating in charities a lot. He often he often donates money to people. He's he's a very kind heart. He has some sort of charity and passion. I'm going to take a look what passion that is. What is his passion? What is this donation? Who's he helping? He has some sort of charity. He's helping people who were unlawfully imprisoned. Okay? The only thing this individual cannot stand the most is corruption and unlawfully imprisoned individuals. Eight of Wands. He's coming in towards you. He's going to come to you as a hero and you will build a family with him. Some of you might know him already. This individual connected to the law, very powerful, authoritative, investigates groups, and this individual is going to rescue you. Rescue you from whom? From this karmic loser X and his bitch. Two bitches, I should say, because there's two of them came in. Rescue you from who or what? We have strategy. We have cave of wands. We have ten of wands. From this potentially queen of swords, the sociopath. Two sociopaths comes up. That what they did to you. So I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily related to that, but uh, like I said, there's a couple individuals here are, uh, once again, our investigation. They're under investigation. And this individual is going to come in and rescue you. That's without doubt, that person is your family. You're going to be with this person forever. So if you have enemies, I advise him not to fuck with you uh, because the man... That is your soulmate, your true love, has a special connections. He's the boss. So I would think twice before anybody fucks with you again. That person is protecting you already. I feel like that person already providing you help. You, you, you. you for some reason, <clears throat> you feel this person is your family, so you know you're going to marry him. Whether he already told you that, he potentially could have told you that, that I'm getting married, you are going to be my wife. Um, for some of you, it resonates that. So there's love. You know this person loves you. What else? You can tell me about the sacred union. Okay, we have some X over here, foolish, rude, who lost you, who's not happy, was a connection he chosen. He knows you're not coming back to him. See the six, six of cups. He knows he's not coming back to you because he was a player and lied to you. They betrayed you, see? Some sort of connection... This individual is aware and will be aware of what happened to you in the past. He's already probably aware. All right, let's take a look more. What more can you tell me about this? The most handsome, the most beautiful, the most smartest, the most sexual, happy, attractive. 
loyal. I mean, when I feel this person energy, I just, I just feel so much love. So much love. That's your true love. And this person will accept you for who you are. No matter what you are. He loves you for who you are. Unlike other one, loved you only until you could have provide some sort of finances. You will feel free. This person will free you. He will be a, like your guardian angel, your protector. He protects you. He will protect you. Just know that this is going to happen in a divine timing. But I promise you, you will be more than happy. What else can you tell me about the sacred union? Okay, let's let's ask a questions. Are you going to fall in love with this person immediately? Are you going to fall in love with this person right away? Immediately? Yes, you will. Absolutely. Queen of Pentacles comes up. You're like, as soon as you meet this person, you're going to say, oh, you already know this person. You're going to say, okay, let's go party. Let's go celebrate. Let's go have a drink. Let's go have a nice romantic evening. Um, I will pay because I feel you're financially stable. It's going to be immediate, immediately party. You f you will found what you wanted. All this Ten of Swords, all this bet betrayal will turn out to be in your own favor. Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Okay, High Priestess, Magic, Tragic, Manipulations. Is this Queen of Pentacles slash Queen of Swords doesn't leave you alone or something? Doing something on you? Have been doing for a while. Six of Wands. No. This, this losers from your past will leave you alone, okay? Nothing they can do. So, he is the most beautiful person. So, expect your true love. Okay, what other messages do I have for you? <clears throat> we have action. We have release. You finally taken an action to release. To release the pain. You're no longer in pain. You see, the fact is, is, like I said, you were not in pain because you were dumped. You were in pain because you lied to yourself, believing that the person you were with, your true love, you finally released the illusions. You taken actions to release your pain. And we have darkness. You release the darkness. You release the fears. You finally understood that whoever broke your heart, in fact, did not broke it, but made it whole again. Because you rebuilt your heart and created a beautiful place 
for that special, incredible, amazing, wonderful, fascinating man. Your true love. So you releasing the pain. I'm curious, what darkness are you releasing? You're, re you're releasing the darkness of the Eight of Cups, leaving what happened to you when the person walked away. It doesn't hurt you anymore because you know why he did what he did. He's a traitor, selfish, okay? Player, played you until it was convenient for him. And then have chosen somebody else. And that option, what he thought was great, was short-lived. What else are you releasing? Four of Wands, Hermit. Being alone. Being around people that make you feel alone. You don't want nothing anymore with drama. You're ready to change your locations. You're ready to drop everything because you no longer want to be in a place of bullshit. It's time for you to grow. To move. So you're releasing your loneliness and you potentially is going to walk away from your family. You're releasing all this devil manipulators of this third party that were responsible to destroy your life. At least six people or three. Three to six people we see. What else are you walking away from and releasing? Love. Love. You're choosing new love. You're choosing new love. That's what you do. And because you made the choice to be happy, you made a choice to love a real person that deserves your true love. You understand? Incredible. Incredible. Now let's take a look at the last card for today. We have death ending. It's the ending of the old life style. Transformation. After this difficult transformation, you yourself become a high priestess. You yourself become a high priestess. We have Ace of Swords. Cutting out. It's cutting off the manipulation. Cutting off the third party. You walking away from cheaters. You walking away from abusers. You walking you walking away from manipulations. You walking from pain. That's exactly where you're supposed to walk away from in order for you to find your true love, right? And where are you going towards after you walk away? Because you already potentially did. Seven of Cups, freedom. You will feel free. You will feel free. There is a new offer coming in towards you. Very quickly, believe me, your lover cannot wait to see you. Cannot be with you. You are his star. You are his love. He loves you dearly. Okay. We also have eight of ones. That's a card of speed messages. To build stability. To walk away from these restrictions. To be together. To work together. And there he is. King of cups. King of cups. Wise, intelligent, and just. So that's your true love. So when you ever think about your past and wondering why this has happened, this has happened simply because narcissists will feed you a lot of ideas to get you fall in love with them. 
it's a technique they use. I'm sure that karmic acts of yours, this bullshitter read a lot of books, have to manipulate people, right? So don't feel, don't feel sad because the man that is coming towards you is 100 billion times more successful, more attractive, like a candy that you can stop not that you cannot stop licking. So, should you be happy? Oh, yes. Lollipops all day long. You will have attraction to this person. The karmic acts wasn't even attractive. There wasn't good sex. There was nothing. It was nothing but lies and bullshit. And then you started to figure it out in your past relationship. You're like, wait a minute, he's using me. For something and something. And for longest time you helped him. Then the moment you face troubles and you ask for help, this person run away from you. It's a coward. Right? So, no. Your man is the best man. And that person is coming in towards you. That's all I wanted it to say. So, do not screw it up take action to release the darkness and the darkness is anything connected to your past all of your ex-boyfriends all of your whatever the crap you do not take nothing into your new life you had to grow you had to change and the moment you release that darkness here comes your charming prince. All right, my wonderful collectives. This is the message I have for you. Once again, you're so amazing and so incredible. I hope you enjoy this reading. Before I leave, let's take a look. What does your spirit guides think of this new connection that you're about to be with? That person will help you. Always going to help you. No matter what you need. That individual will bring a star from the sky. If you ask for it. Literally. You're going to, you're going to be only one and only female in his life. You're always going to have flowers at the table. Every time you will wake up. There's going to be a flower by your bed. He will love you. You're going to be one and only he loves and care. And we have main female. You're meant to be together. You're a couple. You're a couple. And the fact that you're waiting for him, this is incredible. What else? You will have status. You will feel privileged in that relationship. Okay. Concern, despair, mature woman. There is this other mature woman that we've seen that interfered in your life. Well, you know what? She's going to be broke as was this mature man. Mature man and mature woman. Some sort of couple who thought of themselves as mature. The pathway, meaning each of you will take their own roads. You know, they never meant to walk the same road as you. Eventually, they will stop. Eventually, they will stop to abuse you. Great fortune for you. Thieves, thieves are thinking how they can get away with it, with this occupational fraud. Uh, I'm assuming mature male and female committed obstruction, light, exercising their official duties. And you will be happy. You will have new home because you will be relocate, uh, relocating gifts from this wonderful, wealthy man. 
Most man is your gift. And on top of that, he is your true love. All right, my wonderful collection. This is the reading I have for you. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.